Hi guys, Danny here. A few people had asked me about uh, how to use the hydrokinetic engine. I tried to explain it to them, but I kept getting more and more mail, so I just decided to make a video. To use it, it's quite simple. As you can see, I have the dynamometer there just to see how much the power output's going to be. And I have the hydrokinetic engine in my hand. So all I'll do is just place it there with the red being the output facing towards the dynamometer like so and now I can see how much it's outputting to the dynamometer next I have this little hole here so the water can drop onto it and I have this little platform set up here which is directly above if I just fall from there you guys can see let me just jump on top of this thing it's sort of difficult like so if I drop down okay but well, I have the shoes on so it's not working right now so now if I fall I fall right in here and I'll pass this side and because the output is on this side and like the book says and I, like I said myself in the video the hydrokinetic engine revolves in an anti-clockwise direction which would be this way all I need to do is go up here and put the water there. The falling water will turn the hydrokinetic engine. Another thing to note is that the hydrokinetic engine will not work unless there's lubricant inside of it. It is in the book as well. Let's see, it's just there. These engines, there you go, this engine must be lubricated to function. That might be the thing that people are forgetting to do. And if I right click, you can see that I have no lubricant in there. So if I go up here, put water there, the water falls, but I'm not producing any power. So let me just block this water off, go down here, and put some water, uh, I mean sorry, put some lubricant inside of the machine. All I need to do is get one of these lubricant hose and connect it. Just let me get rid of that fence for a second. Like so. Take it down. Connect it. And now the lubricant is being pumped inside of the machine. Let me just right click and check. There you go. 10,000 millibuckets, which is. 13,000, 14,000, 15,000. A thousand mil bucket is a bucket. And let's see how much this is. It's going down. I don't need to put all of it inside of it. Let me just destroy this. And now it does have lubricant. 24 buckets full. I go up again. If you guys remember, last time the engine didn't spin. But now that I've put lubricant inside of it, there you go. It spins and it produces power. If you let the water drop from 64 blocks above the hydrokinetic engines, you can actually chain the hydrokinetic engines together for you know greater effect. This one, it says it's outputting 0 watts, but it's outputting the 0 watts at 32 radians per second, which just means it's outputting its energy to that one and overall it's outputting 1.49 megawatts of power which is the maximum output of that plus the maximum output of that if the water well most importantly for them to link together the speed has to be the same so as you can see the 32 and the 32 there if one of the water blocks was a bit lower than the other one uh, they would be spinning at different speeds and therefore it would be sparking and you know because of the conflicting speeds it wouldn't be producing power so yeah you can actually chain them together as well to produce a lot of power